Woo, put your smile on. Woo, we're live. Let's go. Performance hats. Here we go. <laughs> well, welcome everybody watching this video today. My name is Tycon. I'm here with a good dear brother of mine, JP. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you, Tycon, for having me on here and for creating the space to share more. Where are you at right now? I am right now in Arenal, Costa Rica at Protopia. And yeah, this is where I'm at. Well, sweet. Yeah, I just wanted to share with everybody uh, an awesome, exciting opportunity opening up called Playtopia. And such an inspiration I, I'm observing here with seeing another community have such uh, mirrored likeness in passion and vision and drive. And Playtopia is exactly the kind of container that, that I love to hold and have people to. And uh, I'm so excited that I'm going to try to make it there. Uh, why, don't you. You, why don't you share with us a little bit about uh, this experience, Playtopia? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to share with you more. So essentially, we are gathering a lot of like-minded humans here in the heart of nature. And, you know, we're going to be learning from each other. We're going to be living in community together. We're going to be cooking together. We're going to be farming together. We're actually having a natural building project on site. We're bringing in a Mexican engineer. And, you know, we're going to be building a beautiful, like, cob house, hobbit style, uh, very funky. So that's going to be an ongoing project going on. And, you know, permaculture. We're also going to be, you know, playing and moving and dancing and hosting ceremonies and playing a lot of games, connecting with one another. We'll have morning movement. And, you know, the schedule is open for collective intelligence to shine through and for people to offer their gifts as well. At the same time, there's predetermined things that are planned. And yeah, we're really excited to create this space so we can instill more of, of our values and our culture here in Protopia. And yeah, honestly, I'm super excited. A lot of beautiful humans are coming and I'm really excited what's going to, you know, flourish and blossom and what we're going to learn from one another. Well, that sounds super exciting. What what have been some of your highlights or benefits? Like, why would you go to something like this? What do you get out of it? What do you get out of it? I would say you would get out a lot of things. I think you can have a very different intention from anyone else and still like get what your intention is. Essentially what you're getting is, is you're getting an experience to live with others, to live in community, an experience where you are a student and you are a teacher at the same time, an experience where you can dive into sharing and giving and also dive into receiving. It's also an experience where there's going to be a lot of human connection. There's going to be a lot of opportunities to connect with nature and to connect with humans at the same time. There will be opportunities to really dive deeper into permaculture philosophies, hands-on and theory. It's also going to be a practice of natural building, a practice of learning of how to build with wood and with clay and you know how to create sufficient sufficiency from what's available on the land. You will also get out a lot of giggles and a lot of fun and basically, yeah, have a lot of fun with, with other humans and, and also take a lot of learning and take things that you can bring back with you home, like how to make compost or how to build your own home from mud or how to, you know, share a movement class and, and things like this and cook and harvest from the land and communicate your emotions and your triggers and you know feel free to be yourself and express yourself and, and anyways that can go on forever so there's a lot that you can take from this experience yeah i love that i like to add to it because what i see for these types of experiences i see them as kind of like recharge refresh recover experiences for people where you know you're living the nine to five you're going to work all the time you're social environments like lacking in authenticity and in connection you're starving for like a human reality and for me these spaces are like a rebirth into like real like communal not just communal living but like human connection and 
the human connection is like the fundamental reality that that people are searching for like everywhere everybody just wants connection and spaces like this offer it in such a way where yeah you have all the things you said which are phenomenal you're not going to be bored ever because you could just do things all the time and at the core of that is an opportunity to connect with others and reflect to see more connection with yourself and that's been for me like the most profound that's why i i do what i do nomadic communities and support it's because i know that when people come to the space and they have that experience it shifts their priorities in life like it changes them and so if you listen to this and you've never had a community experience imagine it being a, a retreat that literally you can have authentic connections that either you've long lost maybe they're not lost you still got them but that are extremely nurturing in your human development so you can yeah resonate. yeah I and mean, you experience that as well right yeah exactly and what we really want to offer is to just to help us remember how to connect with each other help us remember how to connect with our own hearts and, and also help us remember how to connect with the earth Essentially, these are the modalities we want to dive into. And there's a lot of beauty and depth and play found through these connections. So, yeah. Thank you for summing it up, too. That's awesome. So, what kind of food are you going to be serving? Yeah, that's a great question. So, yeah, predominantly, it's going to be a vegetarian food i would say and we're going to be harvesting a lot of things from from the land and also from the local environment like the local community local town depending on the people on site we might be having meat occasionally once or twice a week depending on the needs keeping it open over there and trying to source it as local as possible we actually are having chickens on site so we just finished building our chicken coop so Probably we're going to have eggs as well from the farm. So that's exciting. And the food is going to be very colorful, very wholesome, very nourishing. And yeah, essentially vegetarian with meat on occasions. That's how I would frame it. Awesome. What's, uh, what's your accommodations uh, look like for people? So we have, we have several private rooms and we have two dorm areas with multiple beds in there. So people can either be in, in private rooms with double beds or in the dorm option. So it's, yeah, pretty straightforward. Sounds awesome. What's the, the temps going to be like that time? In, uh, the temperature. Temperatures, yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, temperature is going to be fairly, you know, we're like 400 meters above sea level. So it's relatively cool all year round we're talking around 20 the lowest it can get is 20 degrees celsius i'm not sure what's that in fahrenheit but 20 degrees celsius to all the way to 30 degrees celsius roughly averaging around 25 i would say and yeah september is a very green month we're definitely going to be expecting rain however that's not going to yeah that's not going to impede us from having fun you know the rain is part of the journey here we have big spaces and a lot of roofing so even when it does rain we have plenty of space to be indoors and still play and and move and have fun and and create whatever we want we feel excited about so cool temperatures to sum it up cool and, and yeah cool and calm cool and calm a little bit of rain lots of play and fun it's <laughs> pretty excited Hmm. So if I'm somebody listening to this and I'm like on the fence and I've, I've never went out of Costa Rica or like country before and I feel called to this, what would you say to somebody who's like on the on the fence about coming to this experience? You know, I, I would tell them that to just do it, just book the flight and, and there's no need to be in the right brain regarding that or the, or the left brain nonetheless and, and you know, sometimes the beauty is when we, these moments that are helping us get out of our comfort zone or moments that are there for us to grow, it's not always easy to take these decisions. However, I can guarantee you that everyone part of this experience is going to leave a more inspired person, a more playful person, and, and also a simpler person that will be happier with less rather than with more. 
Awesome. That sounds sounds inspiring. Yeah, essentially, like you say, Tycon, you know, like I've, I've heard this from you and I really love it. We don't really need much to be happy, right? And it's these like five simple elements that you keep sharing. And, and I really love this concept. So, yeah, you can share more about it or not. But, uh, you know, water, air, food, love and shelter. And, and we're going to have abundance of all of that and create more room for for expression through through all these realms. So, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So you really feel that this is this is a container that's is it right for everyone or, or is there some people that are better for who who would you recommend this for? You know, I would I would recommend this for seasoned communitarians or even novice communitarians as well in the aspect of people who are new to community or living in community or people who also have been living in community for a while. There's definitely juice and definitely gold for all colors. This is an experience for someone who is, you know, looking to, you know, spend more time in nature, for someone who feels maybe stuck in his nine to five or spending a lot of time in cities or indoors. This is also an experience for someone who's craving authentic human connection. This is an experience for someone who wants to learn more about and practice more farming, organic farming, and also practice more natural building. This is an experience for someone who really wants to dive into his teacher and also dive into his students and, and share more and, and receive. This is an experience for someone who, yeah, just wants to have fun and play and, and feel safe and free to express who they really are. And yeah, yeah, that's what I would say. Hmm. Is there anything that you would, anything else that you'd like to share with somebody watching this? Anything else you can think of? Um, yeah, honestly, so to everyone who's watching this, first of all, I love you. Thank you for sticking in. And yeah, I'm really excited to to connect with you and to play with you more and to, yeah, just discover more of our essence together and to discover more of our similarities and our gifts and to basically help one another rise deeper into our, yeah, into our existence so yeah i just want to share with you guys that i love you and i'm super excited to be with you all soon in the heart of nature learning playing sharing dancing moving you know and all and all that beauty so yeah yeah why do you why do you choose this life why do i choose this life you know, for me, I don't see any other way, right? Like, <laughs> it's pretty clear that this is the the way or the only way. I don't really see other options here. I choose this life because it, it makes me feel alive. I wake up every day feeling alive, feeling excited. Not every day feeling excited, but most of the time I wake up feeling excited because there's there's so much going on and there's so much potential. And I choose this because it just, provides me with pure joy pure innocence it divide it provides me with purpose and it provides me with sensations of 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 wholeness sensations of being a part of something that's bigger than just me and being a part of a, a purpose that can provide beauty and can provide depth to everyone and, and not just me i choose this because i i, I love people i love human connection. I love nature. I love fruits. I love intelligence. I admire beauty. And I want to bring it all together and, and play this bridge to bring in different colors and different talents and different textures together so we can really unite and draw this epic painting that we've never ever seen before. So yeah, this is why I choose this. Well, thanks so much for sharing with me today and thanks everybody for being here and I hope to see you. Oh, we didn't talk about dates. When is, when is this thing? Well, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> so it's happening from September 1st all the way to October 27th. You can come for two weeks. You can come for two months. You can, you know, basically come for the, a month or, or two weeks. And so, yeah, it's September 1st, October 27th. And yeah, these are the dates.
Is two weeks the minimum stay? Two weeks is the minimum stay. However, if there's some like exception and you know I'm flexible regarding that, however, we try to aim for two weeks as it does take some time to receive the gold, right? Some like to really receive the depth and to receive the learnings. I think two weeks is a good minimum to guarantee you that you will leave this container feeling more rejuvenated, feeling more refreshed, feeling more inspired, feeling more alive. However, yeah, we can, you know, it's a can be a case by case basis if, if there's really an you know an emergency or, or things like that. Awesome. Now I think we covered all the details. <laughs> uh, you have any questions for me before we shut down the chat? No, honestly, I'm just feeling a lot of love and excitement right now and a lot of support. So thank you, Taikon, for, for creating this space and, and, you know, supporting with putting more, you know, pieces of wood in the fire. And I feel your support and your love and your uh, presence. So, so yeah, thank you. And um, many of my needs are being met. And awesome. more, than my, more than my needs, actually, desires. <laughs> if I were to share anything, I would say that this step is a great a door opener to living a life of purpose and passion and spaces like this are great to get that support care understanding connection that then help break free old patterns to start a new pathway in life so what i would encourage people watching this is if you feel like you're ready for a new pathway that this is a great great first step and from here, you'll meet many of other people on this journey that also know other steps and other places that can open up a, a whole new flow of life for you. So if you're ready for that new flow and the new thing, come check out Playtopia, September, October, Costa Rica. And uh, we'll love to see you there. All right, I hope much love. You. Bye.